Yay Networks. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Cornelius. Hey, y'all. My name is Heather. Yo. Oh, so happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Or that day after Thanksgiving, y'all had y'all been around your family now, your friends now. I had so much good vegan food. Like oh I'm goodness. so stuffed. I'm so excited. Okay, but okay, but for all the people out there, babe, who probably did not have the best experience yeah. with their family, or even for those people who may not have family and friends to really spend that very special time with what kind of what kind of message would you want to give to them i remember and i've shared this story many times but going home for thanksgiving and getting the whole rundown at first when i was single it's when am i getting a man yeah it's like where you know what are you doing with your life and then in addition to that it was like what's going on with your job what's going on with this what's going on with that i felt like family was constantly trying to figure out what was next. You have to think about it. You know, when people come home, they go home for the holidays. They don't see people for a while. People want to catch up on your life. And it's almost like you want to feel like you have an answer for everybody about everything that's going on. But like, what if you don't have that answer, right? Right. Like, and then after we got married, everybody harassed me every year for kids. So it's just like something new every single time I went home for the holidays. Yeah, it's it's incredibly difficult for people, you know, because they... You know, you want to go home. You just want to have just to have that family, that nice family meal. But mm-hmm. then also because of the climate that we live in politically oh, yeah. and socially. Who did you vote for? Who did you vote for? Oh. And, you know, you know, what are, are you know, what are you like? Are you an activist for some social cause? And, yeah. Or what is a social cause? I mean, you got Roe v. Wade that's out there right now. And yeah. that becomes a topic of conversation when you sit at the table. Because yeah. you got uncle who who believes one way, and then you got an auntie who believes another way, and then you're sitting there and you have your own beliefs, and then you have those family arguments that yeah. oftentimes turn volatile. So you know, you're out there and you're listening to this, and you're like, man, I really didn't have the best time for Thanksgiving. I think that in itself, it, you know, takes us back to the whole premise of what Thanksgiving is about, and that is to at least be thankful. Yeah. And I, and I don't believe that we have to have perfect scenarios and perfect family members in order to just be thankful. Yeah, we can. I think it's also a reminder to throw up the boundaries around family, Mm -hmm. you know, just saying like, all right. And I've had to say this before to my family, like, hey, this topic is off the table. Like, we're not talking about this when it comes to Thanksgiving, Christmas, because it's going to cause a whole argument. Like we've had these discussions. It doesn't go well. We already know that. So these topics are off the table because at the end of the day, like I love my mama. We're just going to disagree on certain (laughs) things. And yeah. I want to focus on how much I love her and enjoy spending time with her, not cause conflict, right? So I think it's important that you have boundaries. Yeah. If, so if you're house hopping and, you know, you're house hopping, you're getting that's plates, where it's at right there. Right. You get all these plates. Just keep your topics neutral. Right. Right. Because you're not going to change anybody over Thanksgiving. Not at all. Arguing about who got elected mayor in your city. You know right. what I mean? Like, it's just. I just feel like we've got to choose our battles, right? Yeah. And I like to protect my peace. So there's just certain things I'm not going to talk about. Like, I'll talk about them with you, but right. when it comes to, like, certain family, no, nah, I'm good. Yeah, I mean, because you, you also know that it won't be beneficial. Like you At just all. said, you're not you're not going to win them over. You're, you're not going to win them over, over the meal. They, they have already established <laughs> right. their own ideology. They already Absolutely. believe how they believe. And what you got to say ain't going to change them. Who said I I changed on Thanksgiving Day because my <laughs> nephew argued with me? Like, come on, y'all! I know, like, I know. Think about it. I know. But so, instead, go Black Friday shopping. Oh wow! Oh oh! And today today is that today yes. is Black Friday. Oh, so tell me, like, like you know, do do you do you really support Black Friday? You know what I mean? Because of like you know how like how how is char- how how. It has been characterized as being a day. It, it is a consumer's day, but then all yeah. the people who, you know, having to work and having to miss like that that last meal, you know, oh, yeah. on Thanksgiving to be yeah. at work to open up the stores so that yeah. we can then consume more to get prepared yeah. for, you know, what we have for Christmas. I think people sign up for jobs because they need to work, and you know, and that's, that's a good way to look. Yeah, at it. I mean, and they're thankful to have a job. That's it, especially with this economy, layoffs and stuff. I think people are just thankful. Yeah. Um, but I'm not, I don't, I'm not going to a store today. I just do online stuff. 
I was about to say because I mean yeah. nowadays you can you can do cyber. Mm-hmm. I think it's like Cyber, cyber Friday Monday. or Cyber Monday yeah, cyber or whatever Monday. it is. Like yeah. you could just like you could just like them from there. And if, and then some people out there you just resting, yo. Like this is just yo, that's this so is just real. your time to just be like you know what I'm gonna yeah. eat another piece of sweet potato pie and I'm gonna sit my my butt down <laughs> and I'm gonna rest. Yeah, and I don't think nothing's wrong with that. Just sit down and just chill. And just enjoy those just who are around chill, you, right? Just chill. Yeah. Let's settle down. I mean, your kids are probably going crazy as you're trying to listen to this. Right? <laughs> <laughs> if you have kids. I know. I know ours go crazy. And um, then you already know what's getting ready to come up. Engagement season. Yeah. You know, all these yeah. people about to get engaged. You probably listen to it right now with your all day. little boo. <laughs> all day. All day long. With your little boo and he, you sit up the time I was like, I don't know. He gonna bring in the rings. He gonna give me what kind of ring he gonna get. He didn't propose on Thanksgiving, so he better propose, <laughs> he better on, propose Christmas. on Christmas. <laughs> Yo, this is the time when everybody everybody, everybody proposes like right around this time, around the propose. holidays. You propose around I this propose time. on Christmas. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know. It's like a very romantic it is. You know, and then it's easy like to really celebrate with all your family because yeah. all your family's already coming in town so it's yeah. like it's your body can just kind of celebrate you got friends that are coming back in town so this is like a celebratory type of season but it's also a guard your heart kind of season too oh snizz yeah. so now you 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 going ham on these boundaries babe boundaries babe because you have to think about it if you're struggling with you know the fact that you're single and maybe you're a certain age and you're sick of it the last thing you want to do is see a bunch of people get engaged on your timeline. Like, you know you, you're you supposed to be thankful and excited for them. You're supposed to rejoice for them, but it doesn't feel good. Right. You know, if you've been waiting for so long and you're like, God, when is it my time? Right. So it, it couldn't be that you put some boundaries on social media where you're not scrolling. Yeah. Right. Just don't scroll. If this is going to be like a stumbling block for you and you're going to find yourself comparing yourself to other people then just shut that down and just say, you know what? I'm going to take a break from scrolling over the holiday season. Yeah. I will see everybody's holiday pitches afterward. <laughs> and, and I mean, even bringing up that point, uh, right along this time, it, it, the uh, amount of depression and yeah. anxiety and stuff like that, it, in, it, it increases bet, around yeah. this time because it's getting darker earlier. Mm-hmm. And because, you know, because of the holidays, some yeah. people don't, like I said, they don't, they don't have family yeah. to be with. They don't have friends to be with. And then for some people, it's a reminder of the family members that they lost. You know, Big yeah. Mama, we lost Big Mama this year. Or we lost yeah. Big Papa this year. Or I lost my brother. Or I lost my child. Yeah. And that 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 spot, that seat that was once occupied the table is not being occupied right now. That's real. So depression, anxiety, it, like it, it, it increases around this time of the year. So I love what my wife was saying, y'all. Like, whatever you got to do, mm-hmm. protect your heart. Guard your heart man. Like, guard your heart beyond everything you can. You know, if there's even a party that you like, like, you know, everybody's going to be at, but, you know, you just can't handle it. Yeah. Like, it may be good for you to be like, you know what, I'm not going to go. Yeah. Or if it's even that, you know, family event where it's that one family member who's showing up and you're like, Mm -hmm. I can't see them right now. Mm -hmm. Like, it might be just just for you to protect your own peace. Like, you know what, I love y'all, but I can't be there. I'm not going to be a family dinner. You know, put me, just leave me a plate. I'll come by and scoop it up. Yeah. I'm going to go, but... You know, if you just spend Thanksgiving at, at, at home by yourself watching, you know, a season finale or a whole season of First 48, <laughs> like rock out. Or love that's is like fine. A, that's not, that'd be like a perfect Thanksgiving, though. <laughs> no. Just sit down all day long no. and watch First 48? No. Oh, love, my gosh. Love is blind marathon. Oh, God. No, no, <laughs> no, no. But y'all... Like, you know, we just we just wanted to yeah. we just wanted to come to y'all real quick. Just to let y'all know yeah. that we're thinking about you yeah. on this uh, this happy Thanksgiving this happy Thanksgiving weekend. Yes. And no matter if you're going out there, you being ready to shop, whatever you're getting ready to do, we just telling you, just reminding you to be thankful. Be thankful whatever season you find yourself in, whether you're single, married, got kids, ain't got none, just be thankful for the time you have and thank God for the for, uh, for, uh, for all he's given you so far. Yeah, we love y'all. We love y'all. Week. We're going to see y'all next week. Peace.